September 6th through the 12th is Suicide Prevention Week. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among ages 15 to 24. While it's usually determined by multiple factors, studies show that in 90% of suicides, there's a serious, significant underlying mental illness. Dr. Bruce Waslick, child psychiatrist at Bay State Medical Center, says it's essential for everyone to know the signs and symptoms of suicidal behavior, signs that he says are usually noticeable in the person's everyday behavior. Well, one of the leading risk factors for uh, suicide and suicidal thinking is depression. So looking for changes in somebody's mood, you know, going from sort of a normal up and down mood to a persistent negative mood. In children and adolescents, we see a lot of irritability, uh, sometimes associated with sleep changes, appetite changes, energy level changes, you know, loss of interest in things that normally would bring the kids, you know, a lot of interest or, or pleasure. Um, having a lot of negative self-esteem, esteem, or indications that they're not feeling good about themselves. Uh, hopelessness is often a risk factor uh, for suicidal thinking. So depression is one of the things that we should be on the lookout for. Additionally, any high-risk behaviors, you know, people talking about, thinking about suicide, writing suicide notes, giving communications through social media that uh, they're in trouble or that they're th contemplating suicide, um, all of those can be indicators of somebody who's at suicide risk. Bay State will be hosting a suicide prevention conference on Thursday, November 1st from 8 to 4 p.m. at the Log Cabin in Holyoke. For more information or to register for the event, log on to learn.baystatehealth.org.